Welcome to an example on how to subtract rational expressions. In order to add or subtract rational expressions, we must obtain a common denominator. To determine the common denominator, we want both denominators in factored form. So our first step is going to be to factor the denominators. So for the first rational expression, we have 5x. And then for the denominator, if it does factor, it'll factor into two binomial factors where the first positions would come from the factors of 15x squared. Let's try 3x and 5x. And the second positions would come from the factors of positive 24, so that the sum of the inner product and outer product would be equal to positive 38x. Let's try 4 and 6 for the factors of 24. Notice how if we put plus 6 here, we'd have to put plus 4 here. Now notice how the inner product is 20x. The outer product is 18x, which does give us a sum of 38x, which is the middle term, and therefore this is factored correctly. And now for the second rational expression, the numerator is 4x plus 5. And again, if the denominator does factor, it'll factor into two binomial factors. So because the first term is 25x squared, let's try 5x and 5x in the first positions. And now for the second positions, we want to place the factors of positive 18. So the sum of the inner product and outer product would be 45x. Let's try the factors of 3 and 6 for 18. If we place plus 3 here and plus 6 here, notice how the inner product would be 15x. The outer product would be 30x, which does give us a sum of 45x, which is the middle term. So now that we have our denominators factored, we can work on obtaining the least common denominator. The least common denominator of these two fractions would have to contain the same factors in the denominator. So notice how this fraction here does not have a factor of 5x plus 3. So we're going to multiply this first fraction by the quantity 5x plus 3 over the quantity 5x plus 3. And notice how the second fraction does not contain a factor of 3x plus 4. So we'll multiply this fraction by 3x plus 4 over 3x plus 4. But let's also put parentheses around the quantity 4x plus 5. So again, we're multiplying by 3x plus 4 over 3x plus 4. Notice how now we do have a common denominator because the denominators contain the same factors. So now we want to multiply the numerators and then subtract the numerators. So for our next step, we're going to have one single fraction with a common denominator of 3x plus 4 times 5x plus 6 times 5x plus 3. So to multiply here, we're going to distribute 5x. So we'll have two products. And I'm going to write them in parentheses, just to indicate they are from the first fraction. So for the first fraction, the numerator would be 5x times 5x, that's 25x squared. And then 5x times 3 is 15x, so plus 15x. And then we have minus this product. To make sure we subtract this entire product, we do want the product in a set of parentheses. So we'll go ahead and put the parentheses here. Now multiplying here, we'll have four products. We'll distribute the 4x and then the 5. So 4x times 3x would be 12x squared. And then we have 4x times 4, that's plus 16x. 5 times 3x, that'd be plus 15x. And then finally we have 5 times 4, that's 20, so we have plus 20. Now we want to work on simplifying the numerator, so we'll clear the parentheses. So if it's helpful, we can think of distributing a positive one here, but because of the subtraction, we can think of distributing a negative one. So the denominator is going to stay the same. Remember, the order of these factors doesn't matter. Here, if we multiply by 1, nothing's going to change. We'd have 25x squared plus 15x. And now distributing negative 1, we'd have minus 12x squared. Notice inside the parentheses, we have like terms. 16x plus 15x is 31x. So negative 1 times 31x would be negative 31x. So we have minus 31x. And then finally, negative 1 times 20, that'd be negative 20, so we have minus 20. Now we want to combine the like terms in the numerator. 
So the number is going to stay the same. Notice how we have 2x squared terms. 25x squared minus 12x squared is going to be 13x squared. We also have 2x terms. 15x minus 31x would be negative 16x. So we have minus 16x. And then we have minus 20. Now let's take this rational expression to the next slide and see if we can simplify further. Let's see if the numerator factors and then see if there's a common factor between the numerator and denominator. If the numerator does factor, it'll factor into two binomial factors, where the first terms would come from the factors of 13x squared, which would be 13x and x, and the second terms would come from the factors of negative 20, and if it does factor, the sum of the product of the inner terms and the outer terms must be equal to negative 16x. So notice how if we use the factors positive 10 and negative 2, if we place the plus 10 here and the minus 2 here, notice how the inner product is 10x, the outer product is negative 26x, which does sum to negative 16x, the middle term. So the numerator does factor, but notice how there are no common factors between the numerator and denominator, and therefore the rational expression does not simplify. And therefore, we can express the difference in this form here, where the numerator is expanded, or we can also express the difference in this form, where we have the numerator factored. Notice how until we factored the numerator, we weren't able to tell if the rational expression would simplify further. I hope you found this helpful.